Hello there, YouTube is pretty weird recently, so if you're already subscribed to the channel, please also click the bell, tick the box, hit save, and you'll get notifications on your device and via email every time I upload a video. Thank you! Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special announcement from uh, Blizzard. They uh, launched the, the Heroes of the Storm 2.0 version, which basically overhauls everything you knew about Heroes of the Storm. If you happen to happen to play Heroes of the Storm either on launch, in beta, and stopped uh, playing, like I did, you can go back into the game and get 20 heroes free and a lot of other cool stuff. Usually in Heroes of the Storm you had like a uh, League of Legends type of thing where you went in, you could play with a number of uh, heroes in a rotation of heroes that you could select and play for free and you can buy each of them with in-game currency or money to lock them forever and play them whenever the hell you think you would need them. And uh, that was pretty cool. Now, they kind of changed the game. You can still, you still have to do all of that stuff, but it's way easier and they have quite a lot of uh, cool stuff. It's more uh, going towards the uh, Dota model, as in uh, they added quite a few things that are similar to the Dota model and to the Overwatch model, if you happen to play that too. I'll tell you about that in a moment. But... The most important thing is, if you log in right now, you will get 20 heroes for free. This has a asterisk here for a reason. You will have to choose one of these packs. Apparently, you will get enough uh, currency to choose one of these packs. And uh, there's the Assassin pack, which has all of these guys here. The Flex pack, which basically has... Uh, you covered in pretty much each role. Support and specialist pack. You can see utility support, bruiser, 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 tank, tank, support, support. It's basically support and kind of a tank. And tanks and bruisers, which you guessed it, you have tanks and bruisers. And this is pretty cool, because if you are coming from another MOBA and you mainly play assassins or supports or tanks or you play pretty much anything, you can get these bundles. Uh, as a new player, this is actually pretty damn cool, because you start up with 20 freaking heroes, where you don't really get that uh, in other games. And uh, it's pretty insane, so if you're wanting to, you ever wanted to play Heroes of the Storm, which is free by the way, you can now have like a pretty good head start. Not really sure if they're going to keep this, pretty sure this is just a one-time deal. But heck, if you ever wanted to play Heroes of the Storm or plan to play it in the future, might as well go in now because you have quite a lot of things to get if you log in now and just have to log in or install the game. Which brings us to a few stipulations here. Uh, if you are not a new player of the game and you have uh, some of these heroes, you will basically not get them. <laughs> again because you already have them unlocked so you might want to look on which of these packs to get which is kind of uh, you would think is kind of bad for you i mean i've seen people that play this game and had pretty much all of the heroes here and they got like six but even if you just get six free heroes it's still pretty worth it because heroes are pretty time consuming to get and if you're not sure which one is for you, there's like a quiz thing and you can do it here. Now, if you think you're getting uh, shafted by all of this, don't worry. If you're a veteran player, you're going to get your own set of bonuses and I'm going to get them right now. So, we have a new progression system in the game. Usually you just had like a... Uh, you had your own level. You got some bonuses from now and then. I didn't play Heroes that much. I got to like level 15 and uh, played other games because I'm mostly a League of Legends player. And uh, all, I also played Awesome Knots and Hearthstone and I don't really have time for pretty much any of them right now. As you can see because I disappeared from the face of the earth for the past month. Um, now you have a more of an incentive to play. And I have to say Heroes of the Storm really did a good job with... Uh, Stim packs and booster packs and quests to give you some uh, gold. I mean, you have three quests a day. You had, I don't really know if you still have them, but you had three quests a day to get gold, play um, 
a certain type of uh, role that you maybe were not familiar with just to get the hang of it and certain types of characters that were either from one game or another were f- f- fulfilled a certain role and that was really cool and you, that was a good way to get gold but apparently at higher levels gold was really hard to get by and now they make this progression 2.0 now your level is the sum total of levels that you achieved on uh, your uh, heroes. So if you have like a lily that's level 5, that gets added to your level. So you're at least level 5. And that's pretty cool. Now, when you level up, you get, you guessed it, these chests or loot boxes. Uh, besides that, you get these really cool little fancy borders over here. And... While your property badge will only display your level at 90, up to 99, you can always check out your total player level by heading to your profile, which is basically, you're going to have very nice little borders here, and it's pretty cool. I like it. It's it's very nice. Uh, a few hero levels, hero XP and level adjustments, you know, technical stuff. Now we get to the juicy part. Uh, Luches. Luches are... A fun thing in pretty much any game. It's addictive. It's a very good way to make money, of course. And this is why I was um, saying it's more like the Dota model because you can also get some cosmetics. I'll show you in a moment. And uh, it's very, it's actually more similar to the Overwatch model. But you haven't, if you haven't played Overwatch, you might not know what that is. Um, as in, you will get these. So, you have announcers, which is kind of cool, voice lines, uh, to cheer on your allies, cheer your opponents, basically, like in Overwatch, you can get uh, voice lines of your character. You have these banners, which look pretty sweet. Uh, apparently, you make a show of dominance over the enemy team by raising a flag with your personal symbol, whether you destroy a fort or keep, capture a mark camp, or capture an objective. As you can see, at some of the uh, mark camps, you had uh, like little flags. Now you can put your own flag if you are the one capturing it, which is kind of cool. You have sprays, just like in Overwatch and mostly most of other games. Uh, usually you see sprays in first person shooters, but now apparently you can put them in Heroes of the Storm because why the hell not? I mean, why should everybody else have fun and we shouldn't, right? Um, again, I'm not really a player of Heroes of the Storm. I just casually play it and it's pretty damn fun. But uh, heck, this makes it even more fun for me. I see Heroes of the Storm like a very, like a casual little uh, MOBA. But I do know it has its own esports scene and it gets really professional. And I do respect that. So if you're really into this... Power to you. You have a lot of stuff uh, coming for you. Alright. Coming to you, sorry. We have emojis that you apparently you can use outside the game. Because you see chat in Heroes of the Storm. Uh, okay, because we're adding a massive collection of stylized hero-specific emojis that you can use both in and out of the game. I assume you can use the uh, Battle.net chat to just use these, which is kind of cool. If these also somehow connect to the Blizzard, they make like some sort of partnership with Twitch, that would be pretty cool. That would be really, really cool. Like an amazing incentive for people to play the game. All right. Um, you do, most of you guys just know me as a Astronauts player and you might be here just thinking what, why the hell are we talking about Heroes of the, of the Storm. I did a few videos on Heroes of the Storm with Davey and uh, a few friends, um, but just didn't have time to record it. This is also pretty uh, demanding on my system to also record it, and I didn't quite have time. But I do love this game, it's pretty pretty fun. Portraits, you have a lot of new ones, and you get the shards that you can craft all of these up, all of the above. If I, I'm going through this quite fast because there's quite a lot of things to talk about. I, if I get some specifics wrong, I'm sorry. You can, I, you can read everything. I'll put the links in the description. All right. We have, uh, the collection has been revamped. You have your own loadout panel that you can equip all of the cool things that you collected from here. And now the good stuff. If you're, uh, if you're, uh, a veteran player, 
you will get quite a lot of things. So let's see. Where do we go for the veteran players? So, um, cashing in. While new players will learn the, their first few loot chests quickly as they rise through the early levels, we haven't forgotten about those who have been throwing down in the Nexus for a while. Now, I'm like level 15, but I have I know players that are like level, what, 90 or 100? I have no idea what the cap is. But they really, really love this game. And this is going to be really good for you because you get quite a lot of things. Depending on uh, your overall account level, after installing the patch, we're going to award you the Wolf of Loose Chests. So, completed at least one hero's match. You get five common loot chests. Uh, each loot chest gives you at least one card, one thing of the rarity uh, that the loot chest is. Basically, if you have a rare loot chest, you will get you're going to get at least one rare item thing or whatever you want to call it. Every 10 account levels, you get one com plus one common loot chest, maximum of 45. Every 25, plus one rare. Every 100, you get plus one epic loot chest. And I think this is with the new account level system. So I'm assuming I'm going to get a few. I'm not really a seasoned player. I kind of feel bad now that I didn't play it, but it basically this makes up for all the loot chests you would have been earned, earning if you started playing it now and got to the level that you are right now and they had this system before. So this is basically retroactively giving you stuff. Maybe even better stuff that you would have got normally. But heck, I kind of feel feel bad for not playing, but I barely play anything right now. So if you're an avid player of this, you're gonna get a lot of cool stuff. Uh, anything else that I want to talk about? Yeah, uh, they're going. There's going to be a few events in Heroes of the Storm. You're going to get uh, stuff in Heroes of the Storm and other games. So you have the 20 Heroes Mega Bundle, which is pretty cool. You have the Nexus Challenge, which returns. You used to get the Genji skin in Overwatch. Now you get it. You have another chance to get it again. Quest 1 that starts on the 25th of April. Complete 5 games with a friend versus AI. Quick match on ranked or ranked. Uh, you get the Oni Genji skin. Portrait in Spray. Heroes of the Storm. Orochi Hover Cycle Mount. This thing is freaking amazing. I didn't get it last time. Or only Genji Banner, Portrait and Spray, Spray, only 5 games, so it's pretty easy to get. Quest 2 starts on the, on May 2nd, complete 5 or more games with a friend in quick match, unranked or ranked. Uh, Overwatch reward, Officer Diva skin, this looks amazing. It basically should be around here, where is it? No, no, can't see it. So, I'll just put a link or an annotation or something. That you can see what uh, I am talking about. The Officer Diva skin is pretty cool. Uh, quest 3 after May 9th. 9th um, a little less rewarding. Overwatch rewards Officer Diva portrait and spray. Basically for enthusiasts. Uh, Heroes of the Storm reward Overwatch Nexagon mount. I have no idea what this is. And apparently here you have the Busan, 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 whatever police hover cycle mount. So a lot of cycles. That's Gonna be pretty cool. Uh, Overwatch Diva Banner, Portrait and Spray. Awesome. All for it. And the last one is on the May uh, on May 16. Again, five matches. Get 10 loot boxes in Overwatch. 10 loot boxes in Heroes of the Storm. So basically, if you wanted to play Overwatch for the loot boxes and you were thinking that this is wasting your time, you now get loot boxes there too. So everybody's happy. Which is awesome. And veteran loot chests. Uh, let's see. All players who complete at least one of uh, Heroes of the Storm get to uh, receive a number of loot chests based on the converted player level. We talked about that before. Most educated players will receive a, new, a few veteran loot chests, which are uniquely world created in the launch of 2.0. Each veteran chest guarantees at least one legendary item. Wow. So if you play this quite a lot, you're gonna get this. I have a friend that got the uh, legendary item. I don't know, if, don't know if it was the loot chest, the um, veteran loot chest. But if you play this game quite a lot, pretty sure you're going to get this, which is awesome. Additionally, all players who reach player level 40 
per, per the release, we receive a 30 day Steam pack. I am 15 or something. So, none of that for me. So, let's go into the game and see what's cooking. Alright, fancy new logo here. Looking good. Not really sure if they said the, uh, like, the fidelity of the game. Because I assume there's a new patch and the graphic settings and stuff might have been reset, but apparently not. Hero level. Okay, everything we talked about, which is awesome. Uh, gems are things you can buy with money. This is in-game currency. These are shards that you can create uh, stuff with. Alright, let's see what we have. So, I am a level 28. That is not much. <laughs> but, alright, thank you. What do I get? Five loot chests, okay. Two epic loot chests. One veteran portrait. I uh, will take that, thank you. And now let's see, you receive rewards. Okay, more. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, how do I use the pet thing, though? <laughs> Is it in uh, World of Warcraft? Ah, it might be. Oh, get three gems. Use them to purchase the Mega Bundle, unlocking 20 heroes in your collections. Thank you. Alright, let's see what do we have here. So I have 100 gems that are where? Don't really know. Let's open loot boxes. Everybody likes likes this kind of stuff. Free and shameless way to get views. Alright, let's go. That looks pretty cool. So this one's an epic, I think. The uh, prayer, I think. Oh, I whoa, you can also get skins in these. I did not know it. That's pretty cool. Okay, a skin here. A you fought well. I fought better. Cool. Another <laughs> voice line. Oh, bluefish, monkey. I like monkey. Monkey is pretty cool. But what? I can also reroll. Wow, you can you can reroll for uh, gold. I don't think I want to, because I like these. Now here's the thing, uh, usually in these kind of games uh, you used to buy skins, because you couldn't get them any other way, but uh, yeah, apparently the chat is having fun. Um, and they were pretty pricey, very pricey actually from what I remember, it was like 10 euros a skin. And now you can get them in these, and I'm, I'm really happy with that. Let's see what we get here. So these are common chests, so... I think I can get at least one rare. Let's see what we have. A spray. Welcome to the gun show. Nice. So what's this? Another spray. Ooh, a banner. Wizard War banner. Hey, that's pretty cool. So basically, you can get any sort of rarity in these, but you're only guaranteed, uh, I guess, the rare one. Epics, you also get, you're guaranteed one epic item. Now this will bring back, oh wait, it's a common so it's not guaranteed to be rare, it's guaranteed to be at least common, okay. Oh, this one's pretty cool. So I got a pack, some shards, another emoji pack, and oh, tracer banner, I love tracer. I'm okay with this, I could re-roll it, but I don't want to. One rare, okay. More shards. Uh, Tyker's back. Cool. I pray this time you find peace. These voice lines don't really, fan don't really. I don't really fancy them. And the skin. I could reroll this one. Let's see what happens if I reroll. Many randomized contents with loot chest. Are you sure? Uh, and you are not guaranteed to receive the items of the same rarity. Well, these are not really that good, so... Sure. Got a I think I screwed myself on this one. Uh, the banner is cool. Voice line. Oh, this one's, <laughs> this one's pretty cool. The TRL one is pretty good. Look, look at this. Just look at this. <laughs> so cool. I am actually okay with this, but I didn't get the skin. I could get all again, but it costs more. If it, let's do it. 
Okay. Let's see what do I get? A spray. This is getting worse and worse. Oh god, really? She scores. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Finds a way. What's this? Uh, pink Fey Dragon Bright Wing. Yep, yep, this is the one. This is the one. Okay. Let's see, we have this one. Hmm, chill pack. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Learn, kiddo. Like that one. I enjoyed that. It's alright, not really much. I got a horse. Oh god, I got a horse. Oh, so apparently you can reroll any of these three times, and the costs uh, the cost increases. Okay, I'm going to uh, sacrifice my noble steed to get something else. Let's see what we. Okay, this might have been a good choice. Let's see. I like this one. Basically, it's like Team Rocket. <laughs> Uh, shards, okay. As was foretold. Was, let's see, an epic. <laughs> Tirande skin. I'm, I'm okay with this. Wow, that looks cool. I don't really play Tirande, but, wow. I wonder if you get skins for stuff you don't have. Wait, I actually do, don't have Mikey, from what I recall. Let's see. Epic. Okay, one rare and one epic. Okay. Good. Glory to the firstborn. Meh. Nightmare Way Watcher Malfurion. Uh okay, looks okay. Epic. I have no idea what that is. It's a fell boar. Looks pretty cool. Okay with it. Oh, re-rolling an epic just costs a lot more. I mean, it's 500 gold. Okay. Pack. I like these. I like the emoji uh, the emoji packs. They they cool. Let's see. The these things I'm not really that keen on. Illidan. I got the hero. Um Okay. I guess. I didn't have Illidan. What happens if I... So, random is going to You're not guaranteed to receive items of the same rarity? Oh, no. Okay. I'll, I'll just keep it then. Alright, so that's what I got this time. And as for the collection, I can buy one of these. Let's see how much does a hero cost. Okay. I have a thousand gems. Why do I read the hundred gems? So a hero costs 750 the newest ones, 150 the older ones. It depends on what you're trying to get. Okay, that's pretty pricey. So for this, getting 20 heroes is actually pretty damn good. Alright, let's see what do we have. Only 100 gems for all of these. Amazing! Can I buy all of them? Oh, but I can, I can only choose one. Choose wisely. Once you purchase one, you can no longer purchase any of the other bundles. Ah, alright. But hey, still free gems to buy skins with. How much is a skin, though? This is an epic skin. They're not that much. They're actually not that much. I can actually get the legendary skin with this. Wow. Thank you, Blizzard. Look at this. Wow. Okay. I am interested in this game now. <laughs> this is a lot of free stuff and I'm... I'm a level 28. I mean, seriously, this is not much. Uh, that's that's amazing. If you are, were like a, le a level of 100, you are swimming in stuff, my man. Good. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy ourselves. Heels are pretty damn expensive. Jesus. Yeah, so the hero cost is pretty much the, the same from what I see. This is really pricey, by the way. Okay. Let's see, what do I choose here? So, yeah, this is pretty much it from what we get. Uh, if you want to see me try to choose a bundle, you can continue watching. 
And yeah, this was really, this is really good. And now I'm going to choose my fate. Dynamic bundle. What? Zarya skin pack. Oh, you can get all the skins for. The skeleton, a steady blade. Oh, cool! This is actually pretty cool. This is really expensive. I mean, yeah, these are super good. Let's see. Stormwind honors those who. So, Vargan don't have him. Kagan don't, 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 don't. Li Ming. Tychus, Janna, Lily, you already have her. So all of these I don't have. Lost Vikings, Rexar, Diablo, Artas, Morales. I like Morales. Nazibo, Asmodan. Okay. Kind of thinking of the Flex one. I have Tracer and Rainer here, so I don't want that. The Butcher, Nova. I do get Nova, which is really good. Kagan. Hmm. I do get Nova, I can buy Nova. Stormwind honors those who serve. These seem interesting, but these seem a lot the more interesting because, well, they're assassins. You, Supports, I have Lily and Zarya. Wait, I have Zarya? Since when? I think I unlocked her in a, in a thing. In an offer or something. Okay. Zarya, so... Is there anyone I don't have heroes in? Okay, Sonia. I love Sonia. So, let's see. Okay, Ragnaros. This one's pretty good. Draw. Chen. Play this guy. This guy's pretty good. Okay. I mean, I, I like him. He might not be good at all. Okay, all of these are interesting, but I only want Rag, Sonia, and this guy. Okay, I love Lucio. Oh, the hell, I can get Lucio. Lucio. Malfurion. John, I like this one. Luther, Leave. Well, I'm butchering names here, but I already have two of these. Hmm. Spin sequences good. These are pretty good. Stormwind honors those who serve. This one's good. Kagan, I want to get Sylvanas. I want to get Abafer. Not that much. Greymane. My oh yeah, this one's interesting. What you want? Okay. Li Ming played with her. She's amazing. Tychus, I adore. Love it. These guys, I'm never going to be able to play ever in my life. ETC is pretty cool. Rexar never played him. Diablo seems okay. Artas seems alright. Morales. It's okay. Brightwing is a crazy psychopath and I love him to death. Lily. Nazibo. And that's what done. Pretty standard ones. So, but this one kind of has everything I want. And here, Zerato. Butcher seems alright. Tracer already have. Valera. Which is new. Hmm. Some of these are pretty expensive to get. Most of them are new. So much more. Hmm. Ben Wood. Huh. What do you want? Uh not really Stormwind. into this. I'm getting this one. So I'm a flex guy. Yes. Pay now with gems. Makes the game freeze. I have 40 shards. Woo! Got all of these guys. So that's 19 heroes. Profit. This is what you get for not playing the game. But in turn, if you do play the game, you don't get all these heroes, but you get a lot of cool stuff. So this really makes me play the game a lot more. I would have played the game for uh, just playing it before but I didn't have time and it was more uh, incentivized to play Overwatch or other games. I have no idea why they still play LOL but alright. Um, so now this one is heavily incentivized too so I don't feel bad but I kind of feel bad because I don't have time to play all of these. So I'm going to miss stuff in all of them but this is the nature of these kind of games. So.
We're going to have to get used to it. As for the shards, let's see how do I, how how do I make stuff with it, with them? Oh, and you can also buy loot chests for 100 gems, and you also get bonuses. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So there's a there's a lot of ways to enjoy this game, and there's a lot of ways for Blizzard to make money. So that seems legit. I'm pretty okay with the loot boxes. Not really that keen on the, the loot boxes in the Overwatch in Overwatch. But this is a free-to-play game. I mean, come on, this 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 works like a charm. And uh, yeah, don't forget to play the events to get uh, the skins in Overwatch and the uh, items and skins in. Uh, Heels of the Storm, and I will see you online most likely in this game. Such a lot of cool things to play right now. So little time. Hope you guys are enjoying it, and have a great day. Bye bye.